Hello and welcome to our video about our visit to scenic world in the Blue Mountains. It was a foggy morning when we arrived at scenic world. We'd already pre-purchased our tickets for an unlimited discovery pass so that gave us rides all day on the Skyway, Cableway and Railway. We jumped on the Skyway to start but the weather was quite foggy so we couldn't really see a lot. We jumped on board and there was one other person and that's the view we had. Nothing but fog. So we headed over to the east station and jumped off and you could actually see the three sisters peeking through the fog. We walked around for a while and headed back around to the west on foot and at that stage it was starting to clear up. Here's later in the day where it's actually sunny and you can see there are a lot of people on the skyway. We next took the railway. It's the steepest railway I've ever been on. I think it's one of the steepest in the world. It's more like a roller coaster. You have to really hold on but you don't have all the jumps and bumps. So we took in the scene of the three sisters from various vantage points. This is looking at it later in the day from the skyway heading from east to west. The journey is about one minute right across couple of hundred metre span, it's 384 metres in fact, the Skyway. Scenic Railway, there it is, that's where it's just come down to the base station. So it's, as I said, quite much like a roller coaster. Steep, you really have to hold on and if some people weren't holding on to their possessions and they went flying down. So you get out one side and then the doors open on the other side to allow you to jump in. So with the pass we had, as I mentioned, you can ride as many times as you want during opening hours. So three sisters seen from the railway base station and Katoomba Falls. We also walked along Prince Henry Cliff Walk from East Station around to Three Sisters Echo Point Lookout. So that's quite a nice walk you know, overlooking the valley below and it's well worth taking. Here's the Skyway looking across from Prince Henry Cliff Walk. So that's basically the size of a bus you fit in quite a lot of people and it goes across by the cable. It's actually 270 metres high so quite a long way above the valley below. The Three Sisters weren't actually the main attraction in the early days Now you can see Orphan Point, that was actually the main attraction, but a landslide in the 70s cut off access to it. Also they thought it had become a bit dangerous to have lots of people going on. But in the eight, uh, 1930s, Orphan Point was the place to go. So there you can see the nighttime boardwalk, so you can go and check things out at night as well, so a bit of a different outlook. So the Blue Mountains well worth visiting. This is just scenic world, there are other 
places you can go to within the Blue Mountains. The Scenic World is a great destination for one day. Probably half a day is enough, but if you want to jump on the rides more often, you can stretch it out to a day. Here's earlier in the morning where it was quite foggy. So visibility was quite poor. And here's the top station for the railway. So and here's one of the pulley systems for the cable car. And this is the trip heading from the base station back up to the top. It's quite a quick journey and as you can see it really moves along. Here's just a bit more of the scenery looking out Prince Henry Walk. So it was quite interesting having the clouds hanging low and watching them through the valley. Is the Prince Henry Cliff Walk. They have time estimates on the signs but quite often it would say 20 minutes and we would actually walk it in 10. So here was when the fog was just lifting from the Three Sisters. So it was good to see how it was covered and then the clouds passed along and there you could see the great view. This was earlier in the day where the skyway was quite empty. And that's looking right across from the west to the east as the skyway arrives at the station. As you can see it was quite full by that stage. So the Blue Mountains are a about an hour's drive from Sydney, so an ideal place to go and spend some time, get outdoors and enjoy the walks. There's plenty of well paved walks you can walk on. The Scenic Skyway was actually called the Scenic Cider in the old days. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and look out for more content. Also you can check out what we've already got from our Tasmanian trip. So that was a very interesting trip, lots of beautiful scenery. So check those videos out.